Welcome to Hey EW, I am RJ City, and my guest is Tony Khan. Hey. Hey, how are you? I'm good. I'm good. It's great to I'm see you. I'm good. How are you? It's great. It's been nice to meet you this week. It's been a real pleasure. Sure. Fine. I've enjoyed your tweets for years. I guess, if you say so. First question. You come from a very well-known, powerful family. Everyone knows about your father. But let's talk about your sister, who's also very famous. Why do you think Mel Brooks always wanted to work with her so much? With Shauna, my sister? Uh, uh no, 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 I, Mad Madeline Kahn, the one from Madeline Kahn. Yeah, any relation, nothing? No, no, my sister is Shauna. Uh, I, Madeline oh. Kahn is actually spelled K-A-H-N instead yes. of K-H-N, um, different spelling. That's very confusing. Good thing there's no other prominent cons in wrestling either. You graduated from University Laboratory High School? Yes. That sounds University fake. of Illinois Laboratory High School. That's not real. Yes, the University of Illinois Laboratory High School. That sounds like a child writing a comic, trying to sound prestigious. The That's University really? of Illinois Laboratory what High was School? The, what was the name of the football team? Well, we didn't have a football team. That sounds about right. Uh, you were born in Champaign, Illinois? Yeah. A little pompous sounding. Well, uh, I don't know about that. I was actually, technically, I was born in Urbana. It's the Twin Cities, Urbana, Champaign. It's like being from Cabernet, Ohio. It just has an air about it. Let's talk about your father. Please. He has a tremendous mustache, and you, quite frankly, have barely a beard. <laughs> Do you think that's, uh, that keeps you motivated? That keeps you assertive? You want to have the, the facial hair that your father has? No, I've actually, I've done it. I've dabbled in full mustachery. It was like, you know, it, it definitely, it's his thing. This time, I think I want to leave it to him is, what I, is how I felt. So when was the last time you shaved? Is this a couple hours or a couple days? This is a few days, a couple days. Like, right. two, this is a two-day action. You're, you're comfortable with it? I think it's a good length. You dress so casually. Yeah, you were, yeah. Almost aggressively so. Is it a power move? Is it the anti-suit? I think it's a combination of different things. Like, uh, first of all, when the occasion calls for it, like, you know, in a, like, say an NFL owners meeting uh, is a sure. good example. Certain events, like, do call for the, the collar and tie. Mm -hmm. For a big announcement, even, you know, for the collar on Dynamite. Let's talk about the big announcements. Oh, please. You make a lot of big announcements. I do. And then sometimes they're so big that you have to say huge announcements. That's true. Are these all the same size? I think, like, uh, saying big and huge, I mean, they, they're fairly interchangeable, but that, I think it was a major announcement. I'm just worried that they're so big that you're going to run out of room to store them all. You are also the co-owner of Jacksonville Jaguars, Fulham FC football, so as you know, soccer and wrestling. Which one has the most men yelling? Well, it, it could be, I would say it could be any of them because there's a lot of fans yelling and we get big attendance in all of them. So it's pretty, it just depends on the event. The Jaguars have a big stadium. Fulham Craven Cottage is a beautiful, intimate setting. It's not quite as big. So at a Jags game, there might be more yelling. But in general, I think the professional wrestling business, we get a lot of yelling and chanting too. It's, it's, it depends. It's typical non-answer. In all seriousness, thank you for coming here because I'm a fan of your work and that's why I asked you to come. And uh, I really enjoy your bits, like uh, your stand-up comedy bits about wrestling moves. He's got good stuff. Thank you. And uh, you know that's why I asked you to come, and, and thank you. Are you doing anything uh, around Memorial Day weekend? Do you have plans? Uh, the, the light wasn't on. C can we do it again? Well, I was just about to ask you to come to Double or Nothing for the road to Double or Nothing. Are you uh, the light? But it was actually rolling. We got, we got it, right? We got it? Yeah, we got it. But this is kind of the thing. Do you mind? I, we just spent a lot of good time. I think it was pretty good, man. I don't know if we need to do it again. I, I don't think you quite understand what I'm after here. I appreciate it, though. Thank you. Sure. I think it's kind of ironic that it was off, and hopefully now this inter interaction has made it all the more uh, worthwhile. Uh, sure. Thanks. Uh, everyone, uh, thanks for joining us today. It was a great, great segment. Oh, I guess this is this is your yeah, yeah, it would be. 